What's up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out three exclusive pops that I got from the United States. All right, so a friend and colleague of mine actually lives in Massachusetts in the United States. So during December, she headed back over for the holidays and I asked her to pick me up a couple of pops and you see them right here before you. So firstly, we have Elrond from Hot Topic. A Hot Topic exclusive Elrond. Really lovely figure. Um, really glad they did a, an Elrond at last with the new wave of Lord of the Rings pops that we've just got coming out. You can see his hair really done nicely, a nice sculpt and mold. Of his crown and he's got his robe flowing there with his arms outstretched. Lovely pop. I didn't, I couldn't find him on the Hot Topic uh, online site. I actually had to ask her to go into Hot Topic to find him for me and thankfully there he was on the shelf. Then the other two we have are from Barnes & Noble. So we have Hermione here. She was of course the shared exclusive between Barnes & Noble and New York Comic Con. Uh, here she is sitting on the stool about to be sorted into her house with a sorting hat. Uh, you can see no coloration on her robes yet because obviously she hasn't been sorted. And just a lovely figure. It's nice detail even down on the stool. Uh, I like the way that they've captured the character of the hat. I think he's really well captured there. And just a really nicely done figure. And last but not least, also from Barnes & Noble, we have a figure that caused a bit of controversy uh, with the way that she was brought out is Galadriel and she's looking amazing. There's also a common Galadriel which you can get here in South Africa relatively easily. I've seen her at Comic Warehouse and a few other places. But this Galadriel is absolutely beautifully done. The arms outstretched to grab the wandering from Frodo as he offers it to her. A uh, bit of a metallic-y paint on her, uh, especially in her dress, which they've captured the detail from that really nicely. And just a beautifully done pop. I really like what they've done with her. Hair flowing, arms outstretched, and uh, quite intimidating. So the big controversy with her really was that when she first came out they decided to put her in a Lord of the Rings mystery box uh, which didn't have other things that people really wanted in it. So a lot of people bought the box only to get her and later on Barnes & Noble decided to release her separately so that caused a bit of controversy. At the end of the day I'm just really happy to have her in the collection. And as you can see, there's no boxes in this video. I usually show the boxes as well. Unfortunately on the trip over the boxes got a bit damaged. Uh, so I've just stored those sort of away uh, in the studio. But I'm mainly an out-of-the-box collector. I only keep a few pop, uh, pops in box and pop protectors. So these guys are never going to be leaving the collection. Not worried about that at all. So just happy to have them. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, ring that notifications bell, and you will not miss anything that's new to what's popping. Before we go, I want to give a quick shout-out to Emma who picked up the pops for me in the States from Barnes & Noble and Hot Topic. Thanks for doing the hunting for me, Emma. I really appreciate it. And these guys are looking amazing in the collection. So thank you so much. Until next time, cheers.